first live show back for 2011, and I want to welcome Dr. Kathy Dow uh, into the new studio. What do you think about the new studio? It's nice. It's um, a little cozier than the other one, but... And we don't have like the penthouse it. suite. We're not looking out over Tampa <laughs> Bay. But, you know, we could probably cut a hole back in the one, in the wall here, and we could look out over the, uh, and see what the cows are doing. We could. Nice little farm view. And I noticed those are grass-fed cows. They're chewing on grass. So, remember, grass-fed beef is good for you. All right, phone lines are open. We're going to take the first call here shortly, 1-866-977-4820, 1-866-977-4820. You're going to be seeing patients this afternoon or this morning after the show in Clearwater, aren't you? I am. I'm what? excited to get back, actually. What's the phone number for the Clearwater location? 727-791-1214. Um, 727-791-1214. Seven two seven seven nine one one two one four. So if you want to get in and see Dr. Kathy Dow or myself uh, in the new Clearwater Lang Eye Care Optical Gallery and LASIK Center right there at Sunset Point and US 19 and Sunset Plaza, give Carla or any of the gals over there a call at 727-791-1214. That's 727-791-1214. I saw a great group of patients yesterday. I saw quite a few. Uh, that was my first day back for a month. I was off the entire month of December. Uh, hopefully I was trying to get a little R&R, &R, but actually I was doing a lot of research on nutrition as usual and, and traveled the country uh, doing a little research and meeting uh, with people regarding uh, the Fortify line of vitamins. And so it was uh, not really a big break, but uh, it, was, it was nice to have a little bit of break from seeing patients. But I'm glad to be back in the saddle. I really enjoy seeing patients. All right, phone lines are open. We are live. I, I promise you this isn't a tape. 1-866-977-4820. one 977 so we're talking about New Year's resolutions, okay, Kathy, and there's a few things that I want to discuss here. I mean, four things really come to mind that I think everybody should have that wants to be in tune with their health. Uh, number one, taking a good omega-3 supplement, and the ones I like are obviously Fortify Super Omega. If you have to buy it from a health food store, I like Nordic Naturals or Carlson's Liquid. I don't like Carlson's Gel Caps because it's an ethyl ester molecule. Their liquid is okay. All the Nordic Naturals products are good. Uh, Carlson's Liquid is okay. Um, Fortify Super Omega, PRN, which stands for Physician Recommended Nutraceuticals, and Lifeguard. Also, those are some good companies. Those are the only ones I'm mentioning. The rest, rest of them, I, I really don't have a whole lot of faith, and I want to recommend them. But those are about four or five companies that you can get a good omega-3 fish oil from. Remember, omega-3, we can reduce the chance of you dropping dead from a heart attack. We can slow down chromosomal aging. We can cut inflammation in the body. It's good for the skin. It's good for the hair, good for the nails. It's good for your joints, for joint pain, for arthritics. Uh, it's good for, the, like I said, the heart, the brain, the cognitive ability. It helps to get rid of depression. People that are on antidepressants and anxiety medications, you know, you may be able to get off of some of that. When you combine the fish oil with uh, a good form of cardiovascular exercise, you'll be amazed at what you can do. Now, vitamin D is something else that we're talking about. Vitamin D is uh, very, very important, and believe it or not, our patients here in Florida, even though it's the Sunshine State, are vitamin D deficient. What's up with that? All right, and we're live in the News Talk at 820 Studios, the new location. If you've got a question, give us a call. You're listening to the I Guy and Gal in the Morning as Dr. Michael Lang and Dr. Kathy Dow. You're really listening to Ask the Doctors. If you got a question, give us a call, 727. No, no, that's not. That was going to give you the Clearwater location, 866-977-4820, 866-977-4820. I'm just looking for a pen. I like to write while I talk. 866-977-4820. It is uh, January the 4th, 2011, and we are in the studios. Remember, eye care is very important for all of you guys out there. Uh, an eye exam is one of the best forms of prevention that we have today. Believe it or not, when the eye doctor looks into the eye, Dr. Kathy, we're looking for the first signs of eye diseases like cataracts and retinal tears and glaucoma, macular degeneration, but oftentimes we can detect many systemic health problems, can't we? We can. We can pick up on diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, sometimes you can even see small little cholesterol plaques. We definitely don't want to see that and cause any stroke, but a lot of times... Um, High blood pressure is pretty easily seen in the back of the eye. We can take a look at the blood vessels and see how they look and if they're thinning. Um, sometimes there's even small hemorrhages that you don't even know about. 
And we can determine based on the size and the shape of the hemorrhage, we can actually determine what layer of the retina is in, and then we can determine what disease entity is actually causing it, can't we? Right. Diabetes and high blood pressure have different types of hemorrhages. So, um, depend, like you said, depending on the shape of it, we can kind of determine which, which disease it might be. Right. All right. Thyroid diseases, sexually transmitted diseases, believe it or not. Um, even collagen vascular diseases, things like sarcoid and lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, uh, gout, things like this oftentimes can manifest in the eye and the optometrist or the ophthalmologist can be one of the first uh, physicians, if not the first, to actually detect and make the appropriate referral, uh, which ultimately could be life-saving. So the gist of this story is if you haven't had a comprehensive eye evaluation and a dilated exam, make sure your eyes are dilated, in the last year or two, it's time to set up an appointment to get in to see an eye doctor. It doesn't matter if it's an optometrist or an ophthalmologist. Uh, remember, if you need any type of internal surgery in the eye, you need to see the ophthalmologist. But any medical treatment, uh, any superficial problems like corneal uh, lacerations or pieces of steel in the eye, things like that, you can certainly see a good board-certified optometrist, uh, which I call the primary eye care physician. All right, phone lines are open. If you've got a question regarding your vision, eye care, or a nutritionally related topic, uh, give us a call. I uh, am a board-certified optometric physician and a certified nutritional specialist. My very welcome guest here, co-host and associate, uh, Dr. Kathy Dow, is also a board-certified optometric physician, and she has a degree in nutrition as well. Uh, so phone lines are open, 866-977-4820, 866-977-4820. Come on, give us a call. Let us know. We are coming in loud and clear for 2011, and we just want to make sure everybody knows that we are live. All right, we were talking about vitamin D. Uh, even though everybody around here has uh, a lot of sunshine available to them, we see a lot of vitamin D deficiencies. I mean, when we do 25 hydroxy blood tests, we see people that have 20, 25 uh, levels, which is not good. We want that level to be 50, 60, even sometimes 70. So the gist of this story is get out. If you live near the beach, go take a walk on the beach, jog on the beach, you know, get out there in a tank top, uh, you know, your bikini, as long as it's not too cold, and get some sun. The sun is not as bad for you as, uh, you know, we were led to believe. Uh, too much, remember everything in moderation, you don't want to get sunburned, but, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes sun is actually a good thing, it'll get your vitamin D levels up. Remember, vitamin D is a potent steroid hormone, it is also an anti-aging vitamin. Uh, diabetes is, or diabetics are usually deficient in vitamin D. If you have a diabetic retinopathy patient, you have bleeding in the retina and you check their vitamin D levels, in the majority of time it's actually going to be deficient. So all of you diabetics out there, you know, have your vitamin D levels checked. And low levels of vitamin D are associated with increased risk of all forms of death. Vitamin D can also slow down chromosomal aging like omega-3. And there's some compelling evidence that increasing your vitamin D correlates with improved survival rates on heart failure patients. So taking your omega-3 and your vitamin D may keep you above ground a little longer. Also, a vitamin D has some anti-VEGF characteristics. That stands for antivascular endothelial growth factor. That can help, help stop irregular blood vessels from bleeding and leaking in the eye. That's wet macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. So those are two things on your New Year's resolution, omega-3 and vitamin D. And I think we got the first caller of the year. So let's see. Tom in St. Pete, good morning and Happy New Year.
and um, what I'm yeah, I'm in my van and um, service uh, provider out here in Tempe. I'm going to go ahead and hang up and uh, see what you have to say about that. All right, Tom, I'm going to try to cover all the bases there. Drive safely. Thank you. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about the water first. Um, the water, you know, this is a big issue. It really is. And, and the problem for that is, is, you know, you just don't know what water to drink, all right? Because is it pure? Uh, is it just municipal water that you're getting? And i got to tell you, the majority of big water suppliers uh, that are in plastic bottles, all they're doing is getting it out of the local faucet in the city they're in, and then they're doing a reverse osmosis on it. You know, is that bad? Is that good? You know, who knows? That's fairly pure water when you do reverse osmosis. The problem with reverse osmosis, it takes all the minerals uh, out of it, and it also brings the pH level uh, into a, a more acid range. And so there are some nutritional gurus out there that think you should be closer in the basic range. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of information that makes that uh, legit. I drink reverse osmosis water all the time. Uh, but the problem with this is the water, once it goes in the bottle, if it's a plastic bottle, BPA or bisphenols can leach out of this plastic, depending on the plastic. Polycarbonate is the worst uh, bottle that you can have for drinking water. And most of the big bottles, uh, sports bottles, are made out of polycarbonate. So if you have a big bottle that you go when you're biking, you know, a jug that you hold when you're running, and even the kids' bottles, you know, for infants, uh, most of those have bisphenols in it uh, that leach out of the plastic. Most of that comes from polycarbonate, which is bad news. And if that polycarbonate is heated up a little bit or cooled off too much, it actually leaches more of that into your system. So uh, most of the bottles out there have a number one level on a number one. If you read the bottom of it, it's number one, most of the Dasani and Aquafina bottles. But that means use it only one time, because if you use it more than once, you can have problems. If you freeze that bottle or heat it overly, you can have problems. So I usually say if you're going to drink out of plastic bottles, make sure it's room temperature. But the, best, the gist of this story is... Go to glass, all right? Glass bottles, uh, Voss, Perrier, there's some Arkansas water you can get at health food stores from the hot springs. And then look for this. In the very near future, you heard it first on this radio show, you're going to find boxed water coming out. Not available yet, but in the very near future, I have it from some very good authorities, boxed water, uh, and it's going to be very, very green. Uh, the box is going to be biodegradable and it's not going to be lined with any bisphenols or plastics in it, and it's going to come from spring water. Spring water is a good source that is purified, um, that has a good pH level, uh, not too acidic. So boxed water is something to look for. In the meantime, Tom, I recommend staying with glass. If you stay with glass, you're in the safety zone. I just don't trust any of the plastics out there. Now, uh, there were some numbers I talked about, the levels, uh, number one, number four, I think it's set number seven you have to stay away from all the time. But I just try to stay away from plastic bottles as much as I can. Drink well water. Problem with well water, though, is that you can have whatever's in the, uh, you know, whatever's been in the crops lately. Whatever kind of pesticides they put in the crops can get into that well. So you got to be very careful. Well water can also have parasites and bacteria in it. So I, I recommend putting a UV system on your well water to kill anything, and then some kind of filtration system, maybe even a reverse osmosis system on your uh, well water, and then you get some really good water.